Hi everyone and welcome back to RQ. I thought I'd do a short video log on the recent passing of Leonard Nimoy, um, which hit me uh, quite hard earlier in the week. Um, the I wanted to talk about the importance of his like the iconic character he played in Mr. Spock. Um, I'm a Trekkie. Uh, and grew up a fan of the show. I, I really enjoyed tuning into it. Uh, it would usually be on after school at about six o'clock on BBC Two, if I remember correctly. Um, that was in the sort of late 90s, early 2000s. And obviously, a lot of people have referred to the fact that, and media outlets, this is mainly, have, have referred to the fact that. Uh, Spock has died, and uh, they've not actually referenced the fact that you know Spock was played by Leonard Nimoy. And the emphasis has been on the death of the character as opposed to the man. Um, and I think that Leonard himself was reticent to actually embrace the fact that Spock could he could be you know almost typecast as Spock, um, forever known for. Spock for being Spock and, and, and would struggle to shake it off. And I think my viewpoint on this is, we see this a lot in, in, in Hollywood, is, is the fact that people are lucky enough to have a defining role, a signature work, if you will. And they're known, it defines their entire professional career or, and life. You know, so even you, you take, uh, Leonard's co-star, William Shatner, I'll just forever associate him with Captain Kirk, as would you know, millions of others. Um, and a, a number of others come off the, the, the tip of the tongue. So you've got Michael J. Fox, I always associate him with Marty McFly. You've got Christopher Reeve, who was Superman. Um, more abstract ones, um, like one of my favourite films of all time, Blade Runner, I would always associate Rutger Hauer as Roy Batty. Um, Harrison Ford, you could argue maybe Han Solo, Indiana Jones. Sigourney Weaver, Ellen Ripley, Arnold Schwarzenegger, The Terminator. Uh, I would associate Sean Connery, for example, with Bond. Um, and there's many others. Um, and it's the same with, with authors as well, you know, making it more, more relevant to the channel. Uh, a lot of authors just have signature works. So, for example, just off the top of my head, you've got J.K. Rowling, his Harry Potter series. Um, just looking at the bookshelf, you know, Tolkien, J.R.R. Tolkien will always be so associated with, with Lord of the Rings. Um, Stephen King, you could argue, maybe he has got, It's maybe it's less applicable to Stephen King, actually, because he's got so many great works. But they have signature work, so you've got the, the Stand, which I'm yet to read, the Dark Tower series, um, George Orwell, Animal Farm 1984. Uh, so they're just the ones that, that, that I can think of. But when your career, I'm, and going back to the whole the acting genre now, um, when your career is defined by such a role, Leonard obviously complained about it, perhaps, or, or was resistant to it defining his career. But I think that actually, if you're in that position, you're extremely fortunate to be so blessed, as it were, to, to be associated with a, with a character or a role that defines your life, transcends, you know, 50, 100 years from now, people will still remember his character of, of Mr. Spock. And that's just one of life's grand achievements. If only we could all aspire to achieve something like that. Um, I just wanted to pass those sentiments on to, in a, in a, in a blog really, because I think it, it did um, shock me a little bit. Not because obviously his age, he, he was 83, but Obviously, people associated him with that character. I mean, it, it's it perhaps should have been emphasised that you know Leonard Nimoy passed away a bit more. But I think that to be 
that fortunate that your character and your portrayal and your it tr totally transcends your professional career to your life and it's going to just echo in time I, I really think it, it, it his character will just echo in time that of Mr Spock so um, I just wanted to talk to, talk to talk to you guys about that and really just get some of these thoughts off in, in a more laid back format um, so I think Leonard will be sorely missed uh, he's been a, a superb um, servant to uh, to acting and uh, truly has contributed to, to and, and left his mark. Um, so I think yeah he'll be he'll be sorely missed. So. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoyed listening to my thoughts on this, and uh, do stay tuned for further content in the uh, the days and weeks to come. So thanks very much and take care.